Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, May 5th. This is for all signs. We're doing the daily energy for Saturday, May 5th. Um, keep in mind that this is what I am picking up on today, all right? So I want you to use your intuition, okay? However you feel about this reading, that's how it goes. Um, this is what I'm picking up on today. Remember, the timing is fluid. Could have happened, maybe happening now, could be happening in the future. Ooh. There could be some undesirable news coming in, something that you don't want to hear. It be, could be coming in um, abruptly, very quickly, something, um, yeah, there could be there, even some arguments, okay? There could be some petty arguments going on here. It may seem unfair. It may not be what you deserve or what you've been, you know. There, there could be even a rejection of an offer here. Somebody could be rejecting you. Uh, there's definitely an imbalance. There's a lack of harmony in a relationship, okay? Somebody may be being ignored and the other person could get upset. Something is going on here. Um, <laughs> woo! Yikes! Okay, so this is a playoff from yesterday. Okay, it is. It says this is carrying on from yesterday. Remember we said the time is now. Somebody needs to communicate. Well, then we talked about, you know, communication is needed. So it feels like somebody is still withholding communication. That is what is going on here. And somebody is feeling left out. Like, I deserve better than this. You know, I do. I deserve better than this. I know that I do. Um, maybe when this person does communicate with you, they don't sit, They don't communicate very nicely. I mean, you know, with that page of swords reversed, you could be dealing with an immature individual who doesn't think before they talk and they say hurtful things. So, you know, there's definitely difficulty in communication today as well as yesterday, and somebody may be thinking, you know, I deserve more than this. I do. We have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here pretty prominently. All right. So, yeah. You know, it's kind of... Let me get the rest of the cards here before we go any further. You know, you really need to focus on your future at this time. Focus on your future. Don't look backwards. Don't hold back. Okay? It looks like your ships are finally coming in. You're getting what you've wait, been waiting for. Right? Or is this what you've been waiting for? It's like somebody is realizing their goals suddenly. They're realizing, you know, is this going to happen? Is this what I want? You know, they've been through their time of introspection and they're now, now they're coming out of it. Oh my gosh. Somebody is about to start a new chapter, a brand new chapter, a brand new phase in their life. You know, and this could be uh, emotional, okay? Starting this new phase uh, might not be easy, all right? It may, it may be scary and emotional and harsh okay there's some harsh energies here it's it's just like there's such a lack of communication like somebody's blocking something from happening With the Hermit card reversed, somebody is maybe going through a midlife crisis. You know, they have this fear of growing old alone. There's a feeling of loneliness and isolation. And there's definitely some rejection here. This could be fear of rejection even. They could be blocking something from happening because of fear of rejection. 
Although they have an opportunity for a major new beginning, major, okay? That, that could lead to success. The world card is success. So it feels like somebody's having difficulty making a decision because he's very decisive, making a decision for fear of being rejected in the end. So they may be blocking their emotions, although this is what they've been waiting for. It's like it's in sight. It's here. Now what? Uh, now I have to make a serious decision. I have to make a decision, you know. And the, your, the, your decision is based on your intuition, by the way. Follow your intuition when you're making this most difficult decision to, you know. Perhaps this is regarding being alone or not being alone because the hermit you know, is a loner, okay, upright, it's, an, it's a loner, it's somebody who takes time out to be alone, to figure out what their future holds, where they want to go, the whole nine yards, to refocus, you know, and come up with a plan, but this is in reverse, so, you know, somebody may be having to make a decision, do I want to be alone or not? And it's emotional. It is emotional. Do you, I mean, are you ready to open your heart? Because the Queen of Cups is about opening your, opening your heart, okay? There's an opportunity here for somebody to open their heart and start a whole new long-term phase because the world is long-term, okay? The world card is, is a long-term thing, okay? So I feel like today is about making a decision and it's a difficult one. It is a difficult one. You may have to reject one situation so that you can move forward into another. That is more loving, and it's what you've been waiting for. So you may have to reject somebody else that you've been dealing with that is immature and doesn't communicate and plays games. we got a game player up here. So it feels like there's a decision that needs to be made. You may need to block somebody so that you can move forward to this to whatever it is that you've been waiting for that's what it looks like to me it's like blocking out one negative situation that because you deserve more i know that i deserve more so i have to block this out i have to cut this off so that i can find success and happiness and contentment and tranquility in the future <coughs> and not be alone you know I feel like somebody has been living in a loneliness you know a feeling of loneliness with whoever this person is that was argumentative it's like you were dealing with somebody who was very petty yeah and it wasn't it wasn't meant to be okay so there's a there's a contract with somebody that is ending because you deserve something so much better and you have an opportunity for something new and better. So one contract is ending because there was too much conflict. And you're moving away from it. You're headed out of that situation. Letting it go. Just letting it go. <laughs> so today is a day of about releasing something that was no longer serving you you know was no longer uh, needed to be held on to so i feel like you guys are cutting off the communication with this person that is immature childish and petty so that you can start a new phase and be very successful it feels to me like you guys have prepared for this moment you've been preparing for this happiness and now it's here because you're taking action to move away from a situation where there was too many conflicts. It's like this, this, this Four of Pentacles is a release. Four of Pentacles reversed. I'm not going to resist this change. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. So that I can find peace and calmness in my life. You're headed towards a very peaceful, calm, tranquil situation. It's what you've been waiting for. It's what you've been wishing for. It's here. It's in sight. Now, this is for the people that have blocked this person that has been causing them arguments and pettiness and 
conflicts, you know, who doesn't communicate well. This is for the people that have ended it. They've blocked it. They've cut it off. They've realized that they deserve more and they're rejecting anything from this person. The pe Whoever has made a solid decision to reject this person that doesn't serve them is headed towards success, whatever they've been wishing for, where there's, there's peace and tranquility. But they have to release first. So, like, I, we're all at different stages, right? Some of you are still are still here. Some of you are still holding on, okay? Because this card is here. Let's just flip it over for a minute. Some of you are still holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to. And if that's the case, then you will continue to stay stuck in this rut, okay? And that's just, that's the case. You'll continue to feel lonely even when you're not. Okay, so, because there's a feeling of loneliness here. There's an opportunity to let go of loneliness and move into a situation where there is togetherness. But one contract needs to end before you can start the new phase. The lover's card in reverse is the end of a contract. Something that didn't work out probably with this person. That was very argumentative and petty and whatever. We won't go through it again. But anyway, once this ends, once this contract ends, a new beginning starts. And it's a major one. The world card is a major new beginning. It's not a little beginning. It's not like something that is, you know, short term. This is long term. You know, but you have to restore control and remove yourself from this toxic situation. You have to stand up for yourself. You need, you need to remove yourself from this toxic situation with whoever it is that you are with that you aren't supposed to be with. You're, you, you know, I think there's a dealing that is going to be done today. You're going to be dealing with somebody where you just totally cut them off so that you can move forward completely to peace and harmony, okay? It feels as though whoever you were dealing with was very critical. They had you walking on eggshells. You couldn't feel comfortable, you know, and it was because it wasn't meant to be, okay? It was a toxic situation. There was too much manipulation and control, and now it's time for you to take back that control. It's time for you to restore that control and release yourself from this situation, this contract that is too conflicting, all right? You don't need to be criticized. You deserve more. I don't need you to criticize me. I don't need you to attack me and tell me that I'm not doing anything right. I don't want to fight about this anymore. All I'm looking for is peace and calm, and I deserve better. So I make this firm decision to let you go, whatever, or let this go. So, we're going to get one more card right here. Whoever you were dealing with, you look at this lineup, was very moody and imbalanced. They may have had addictions, alcohol. You could have been, because this is this could signify an alcoholic. You could have been dealing with somebody who, you know, couldn't keep it together. It doesn't have to be an alcoholic. It can be any addiction. Okay, it could be whoever this person is that you were dealing with and that you're probably about to block from your life is very temperamental. It's a temperance card. Impatient, um, hard to deal with. They're not harmonious. They're not peaceful. They have addictions and obsessions and they often overindulge. And it's hard to cooperate. They don't cooperate. They don't compromise. And it's really hard to blend with them. So, you know, I feel like you guys are like, you know what, I need to restore the control. I need to free myself from this situation. So I'm, I'm moving away. I'm moving away to a more peaceful, calm situation. I've decided to, to let this go. So I feel like you guys are letting go of something. And as you let go, something major is starting a major new phase is beginning for you that leads to success oh. I don't know if we should get another card or not 
You know what? I think we'll use these. We haven't used these in a while. This is for Saturday, May 5th. Well, one more bit of advice. There's a major new beginning right in front of you. You've learned to something big. There's a completion here with somebody that didn't see your worth and was very critical and needy, nitpicky, mouthy. And I feel like you're ending it. You're like, no, I'm sorry. I don't want that in my life. I'm going to find peace and peace and calm. Thank you very much. And as you make that decision, it feels like whatever you've been waiting for is right there. Oh, opportunity. Opportunity. That's exactly what this is. Oh, I love it. I do. I do. I do. I do. Release your ties to the past. When you let go of the old, you make room for the new. This is what I was just telling you. Son of a bitch. You know those are my favorite words. I'm sorry. Those are my favorite words. I just got done telling you all this in other words. Release your ties to the past. You're dealing with somebody who was a bit too much. Okay, let them go because something new is right here and it leads to success in something long term. Talk to you later.